welcome to Circle. I am so glad you have able to join us. Let's look at our schedule real quick. We have greetings, we have our calendar, our weather, a map, and our story. I'm excited about our story today. It's a really good one. So we'll start with our greetings. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. We're glad you came today. Hi. Let's check in how we're feeling today with our mood meter. So where are we on this mood meter? Looking at our colors, we have our red, which is our nervous, confused, annoyed, or angry. We have our yellow section, which is our surprise, our silly, our happy, our green section, which is our calm, our relaxed. And we have our blue section, which is our sick, our sad, our sleepy, or our hurt. Check in where you're at on there. Tell someone around you where you are. So I'll share with you that right now, I think I'm more in this yellow zone. I'm feeling happy and maybe a little silly today. So I'm gonna put my arrow right there in the yellow and I have high energy and I'm feeling pretty comfortable. So we're going to look at our schedule. Greetings is all done. We're going to move on to our calendar. Okay, so in our calendar, we know we're in April because April just started. And yesterday was Thursday. So we're going to move on over to the next day, which is Friday. And it was the second, so now it's the third. So we'll put our arrow up for that. It is Friday, April 3rd. We'll write that on our message. Friday, F-R-I-D-A-Y. And our month, which is April, A. P-R-I-L, and it's the third, so we'll write three, and our comma, 20, 20. Great job, everyone. Let's check into our schedule. So our calendar is all done. We're moving on to our weather. Let's check in. Look out your window and see what it is doing. It is April and here in North Bend, Washington, it's snowing. So I'm going to put up my arrow on snowing. It might be doing something different where you are today. And our temperature, because it's snowing, it is definitely feeling very cold. So we can look. It is 36 degrees here. So we will write that on our message here. Snowing. S N O W Y. Snowy. And I said it was 36 degrees here. But because you may not know the actual temperature, we're working on knowing how it feels right now. And it feels cold here. So I'll write the word cold. C-O-L-D. Cold. So our weather is all done. We're moving on to math. We're going to play the same game today. We're going to do one, two, three, four problems with the dice. That's 
the number one. That's what it looks like. Let's count it. One, two, three. We'll put the number three right here. Let's count them in all. One, two, three, four. So we will write the number four right here. So let's say our math problem together. One plus three equals four. Great job. We'll roll it again. What number is this? One, two, three, four, five. So I'll write our five here. So we have our line, our belly, and our hat. Rolling one more time. Let's count. One, two. I'll write the two up. Let's see how many we have in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll write our number seven right here. And we'll say the problem together. Five plus two equals seven. Great job. So we'll roll again. Got a five again. One, two, three, four, five. We'll write our five. Line, belly, hat. Roll again. We got it. One, two, three. So we're going to write our three. Let's see how many we have in all. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. So we will write that eight. Remember, that is an S, and then we close it. One more problem. <gasps> what number is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll write our six right here. Roll again. What number is this? One, two, three, four, five. We'll write our five right here. We have a lot of fives today. Line, belly, hat. So let's count how many we have in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we'll write that number 11 right there. Let's say our sentence 6 plus 5 equals 11. I'm not sure if we said all our sentences, so let's run through saying them all together. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 5 plus 3 equals 8. 6 plus 5 equals 11. Great job, everyone. I'm going to put our stuff away. And check our schedule. Math is all done. So now we're going to move on to our story. And I'm very excited about our story today. Our story is We're All Wonders by J.C. Telesco. So let's write it up here. R.J. Why? Oh, 
challenges. Oh, yes. There we go. So I move closer so you can see the book. We're All Wonders by R.J. Palencio. There's something unique about that picture. I know I'm not an ordinary kid. Sure, I do ordinary things. I ride a bike, I eat ice cream, I play ball. I just don't look ordinary. I don't look like other kids. My mom says I'm unique. She says I'm a wonder. My dog Daisy agrees. But some people don't see that. I'm a wonder. All they see is how different I look. Sometimes they stare at me. They point or laugh. They even say mean things behind my back, but I can hear them. It hurts my feelings. It hurts Daisy's feelings too. When that happens, I put on my helmet. I put Daisy's helmet on too. And then we blast off, up, up, up through the clouds. Across the galaxy. All the way to Pluto. We say hello to old friends. From far away to earth, looks so small, the earth looks so small, I can't see any people, but I know they're there. Billions of people, people of all different colors, people who walk and talk differently, people who look different like me. The earth is big enough for all kinds of people. I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see. If they do, they'll see that I'm a wonder. And they'll see that they're wonders too. We're all wonders. Look with kindness and you will always find wonder. The end. So I like that story because it talks about how special and unique each and every one of us is, and how we should value each other. So I hope you enjoyed today's circle, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.